Hey guys, um, this is Mona De Lacey, and this is the biggest mind hack that's holding you back from increasing your performance in sport, in life, it could also be your working career. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see future sports psychology videos. Oh, you make me want to talk back, talk back to you. So a few years back, um, I had a really big injury. Um, so I'm an Olympic weightlifter and as a weightlifter, our legs are one of the most important tools in order to lift a uh, big weight. And what happened was with my knee injury, um, unfortunately I couldn't do any squat exercises, bending exercises. Um, I did tons of physio and rehab um, for almost three months. And I was also prepping for the world championships during that time. And this was at first very devastating to me, um, but I knew it's not the end of the world. So the mind hack and the mind tool that I used in order to help me get myself back to my lifting, um, it helped my injury, it helped me to get back to my lifts that I was lifting before the injury, like super quickly, is visualization. So the question is what is visualization now visualization is literally when you close your eyes um, you can hear the environment around you you can see the environment around you, you can smell the environment around you taste it and also feel it so um, this is something that a lot of people overlook um, that's something that they think Oh, visualization is super hard or it doesn't work for me. Um, and just like a physical skill, this skill has to be trained all the time. What this involves is basically you imagining yourself um, back to where you were or something that you want to achieve. Um, when you close your eyes, you can lay down, you can sit on a couch, wherever you feel most comfortable with, um, but you should be in a super relaxed state. Um, now I've had many clients before that I've worked with that were in similar situations um, and the visualization technique took some time to get to master it but once they mastered it, it made a tremendous difference in their performance and it also helped them overcome injuries. So the most important part here is again like I said before is to get yourself super comfortable in a super relaxed state. Um, you want to also be in a quiet environment so that you don't get disturbed. So make sure that your cell phone is away, your laptop, maybe if an alarm is going off, make sure that's all set aside. Um, go into maybe a room where it's a little bit dim um, and you have some time. And what you want to do is, like I said, you can lay down or you can sit on a couch. Now, when you do that, if you cannot get yourself to re relax immediately at the get go, um, do some breathing exercises um, which can put you in a super relaxed state you must feel almost like your body feels so heavy that you actually want to fall through the ground um, once you are in that full relaxed state you can then close your eyes and then slowly start to visualize whatever you want to achieve so for me for example um, getting myself back to where I were um, before the injury um, I literally visualize myself doing the movements over and over again um, I saw myself in a competition setting um, I even visualized my injury healing really quickly um, when I went to see the doctor um, he was actually super surprised at how quickly um, my knee injury healed and um, I still today believe that it's literally because of all the visualization that I did um, and it's so important to actually do this continuously. Um, you have to see yourself and feel yourself. You really have to put yourself into this exercise. You have to believe it's gonna be, um, it's gonna work. You have to see yourself at the end of the finishing line. Um, and I can really guarantee you guys that you'll see a massive difference in it. Now, a lot of times people ask me again, um, how long should they visualize? Um, that really fully depends up to you. I mean, 
you can visualize for 60 seconds you can visualize literally just before you go and do your actual activity if you are uh, an athlete at some sort um, you can visualize um, your daily activities um, a nice thing that you can do is the night even uh, before you go to bed you know take five or ten minutes um, take it as relaxing time you'll actually even be surprised at how well you sleep after that um, so take some time get yourself relaxed um, get yourself into the zone um, visualize what you want to achieve visualize the emotion behind it um, and yes when you wake up you'll feel super refreshed and this is something you should do again guys over and over again because if you do this over and over again like you, like i said earlier the way you train a physical muscle you have to train the mental muscle as well so another thing that's also very important when you visualize is you always want to visualize the positive okay so you want to make sure that you see the positive outcome and yes it's sure it is sometimes easy to fall into the negative side of things um, but you want to make sure that you achieve what you want to achieve and feel the emotion you would feel if this is something great okay so if there's any negative thoughts that pop up um, during your visualization um, train yourself to block them out just as you would if you would go and compete um, block out the negative emotion replace it with something positive um, and like I said, when you wake up, you'll be surprised at actually how happy and how successful you feel once you've done your visualization exercise. So guys, if you've liked this video, um, give it a thumbs up and go and subscribe to my channel to see my future videos on sports psychology.